Hi, and welcome to Bites of Light. I know that I've worn this pink scarf before, but <laughs> I love it because, well, first of all, there's sparkles in it, but also too, it's pink and pink is about love and unconditional love. And in the last video, I spoke somewhat about that, about self-love and how everything starts here at home in your heart and what you're manifesting and, and what you're projecting out into the world. And so I was talking about, you know, if you have negative emotion held in your heart, that's really what you're projecting out into the world. So how do we start the process of self-love? Well, I'm just going to give you a, a guide here that I use that I found is very, very powerful. Now, years ago, uh, Spirit asked me to be the meditation, and I've, I've spoken on that subject before, about being the meditation, about observing myself, and uh, the observer of the observer, and always watching my thoughts. So here's a good way just to understand about your higher self, who you really are, your authentic self, and your ego. So if you hear any kind of words like, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Um, oh my God, you know, just like, oh, look at me. I'm so, uh, I'm, I'm so fat. Oh, got pimples on my skin. Oh, my hair. I can't stand it. Um, I can't do that. It's impossible. I don't, ha I, I don't have the skills to do that. I don't know how to do that. Uh, I, 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 I can't start my own business. Anything like that that is coming from a negative, from a negative, okay, is your ego talking to you. Your ego speaks to you when you say negative things. That is not you. Because your higher self knows exactly who you are knows the beautiful being that you are and it is not about this that's attached to the material world it is about this that's attached to the divine world so just to even if you started writing those things down and you heard that negative talk then you would know that that's your ego and you could say that's not true that's not me i am a beautiful being of love and light and yes it takes a little bit of work but what you can do is write on post-it notes which is what I did <laughs> and I put them all over the house so when I woke up in the morning and I turned to get out of bed the first note on, I am worthy oh I am worthy okay then I went to the washroom there's probably six of them on the mirror you know I deserve the best I belong. I deserve to be here. I can do anything I put my mind to. And all of those little notes to myself helped me to transform into a better place of understanding that my ego talks to me, well, all the time, as, as always. So it's the first step in developing a good self-talk. A good self-talk just correcting the negative with the positive so that is a great way to start loving yourself and discovering yourself and then after that you start to really be able to feel into yourself and recognize oh my gosh I feel so tired all the time Maybe I can lighten up. Maybe I can cut back on my schedule a little bit. Maybe I can give myself that nap. Maybe I can spend a little bit of time laying in the lounge chair and reading my favorite book or just sitting and bringing in all the love of nature. But the greatest way to train yourself to love yourself is to recognize your ego and how it will always try to deter you from who you really are so if you know that then you're always like self-correcting <laughs> it's just like nope not me go find somebody else to bug <laughs> that's not mine nope 
It is just reaffirming, reaffirming, reaffirming who you really are. And with all of that, the love in your heart will start to melt any of those negative emotions and you will become a manifester of love. And on that note, you can find me on phoenixrisinghealingcenter.com, YouTube, Instagram, and have yourself a loving day.